Hi, this is Mr. Adamac, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a website in Adobe Dreamweaver CS5, and I'm also going to show you how to create it totally for free. So the first step in this process is we are going to open up our internet browser, and my fantasy football is going to come up. Let's see here. This is what we want. Okay. Um, you're going to go to this website called 000webhost.com and it's going to look like this and you're going to go to sign up and you're going to wait for that to load okay um, here um, you can purchase purchase a domain name through like a company like GoDaddy or there are other companies where you can purchase domain names from um, or you can get a free subdomain name through 000webhost.com um, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do here. Um, if you do purchase a domain name um, you can um, just put it in here instead of getting a free domain name. But um, say you want to create a website and um, you're going to have like a, a comic strip website where you're going to do daily comics or something like that. Um, so we can do like um, Kevin's um, Comics and then it's going to be .comuv.com. Um, now you're going to fill out all your information, and I'm going to try to block this um, so you don't see it. Um, but yeah, just fill out um, your email and then make a password. Whoops. Messed up. And then enter this little code at the bottom and agree to their terms and service, terms of service and go to create my account. Code was incorrect. Okay. And the email was incorrect. Alright. That should fix that. That should fix that. Now right, let's try this again. Okay. So once you do it, it'll look like this, and you're just going to wait for their page to refresh. Like it says, it takes um, seven seconds, so just wait till that refreshes. And it's building, it's building. All right, here it is. Um, this is what your accounts overview um, looks like. And I am going to delete this website after this video is done, so um, y'all can't um, hack into it or whatever. It won't exist anymore. But um, you're going to see, this is like your control panel. Um, this has all your FTP details, all your name server details. Um, like if you purchased a, <clears throat> a website through, or a domain name through GoDaddy, um, you would use these name server details. But since we're doing it all on this website, you don't need those for right now. Alright, now that that's done, um, we're going to go to our desktop and we're going to create a folder um, with whatever your website name is. So mine is kevinscomics.comuv.com comics.comuv.com and then you're gonna open that up and you're gonna create a folder inside that called HTML and then you're gonna open that up and you're gonna create a new folder called images and then we're done with that. Alright now we're gonna open up um, Adobe Dreamweaver CS5 Now that, that we have that, um, if you've never used Dreamweaver before, it's going to open up like this and there will be nothing over here under your um, local files. But yeah, um, it looks like this. We're going to go to Site and New Site. And we're going to put whatever our site name is. Mine is kevinscomics.comuv.com. And then under the local site folder, we're going to find um, that folder that we just made. Um, Kevin's comics and then um, you're gonna choose the HTML as your root folder and then click Save and it's gonna create your website wait there we go okay um, this is what it looks like after it creates it now we're gonna go to file new and um, Adobe Dreamweaver has templates already made up if you want to use those 
um, I never have before but um, I choose to do HTML document um, then none as my layout and click create and it's going to create a new um, HTML and then um, before we do anything we're going to click file save and we're going to name it index.html and click save and it's going to create this new um, what basically is your um, main page um, for your website um, there are I'm not going to go into great detail on um, actual website design and stuff like that with Adobe Dreamweaver I'm just showing you the basics on how to create your main page and then how to upload it to your um, host server and then to your domain so um, if you know how to code, which if you do know how to code, I don't know why you're watching this video because it's just an introduction to Dreamweaver, but um, here's your code view, which I don't know how to do any coding. I don't know how to do that. Um, there's a split view, which has your code, and then your design view, and then design um, is what I use. So um, yeah, this is basically it. We can say like, welcome to Kevin's comics dot comuv.com and then we can choose to center it we can go to modify and then um, our format align center and then we can bold it we can make it bigger and you you can go in and out um, you can just play around with Dreamweaver on how to make your website look cool um, if you have pictures which um, I can show you a picture here we can um, put like a wallpaper or something up um, so we can do this that's not what we want we want this right here and that and that alright you're gonna put whatever pictures you want to put on your website um, in here so we can do like that and then <clears throat> then back into Dreamweaver um, then you'll see the uh, the image that you put in there is right there and just drag and drop onto your um, main page there and then I don't really know what this means I just always put whatever the name of the image is right there I don't know if that's right or not but that's what I do and then you're gonna wait for that to load in there there it is alright then you can resize it here which I should do because it's pretty big so yeah there's an image right there you can drag and, and uh, you can also center center that. You can do format, align, center, and there that is that picture of center. So yeah, that's basically um, um, how to how to design a web page in Dreamweaver. Like I said, I'm not going to go into great detail on on Flash or anything like that or, or website design. But now that you know how to do that, now we need to um, input the um, the where to upload it to. So um, we're going to do that now. You go to site, manage sites and you're going to click on whatever your site name is double click and then you're going to go to servers right there and here is where all that information comes in um, all this info right here is where you're going to imp input it <clears throat> okay so um, what I usually like to do um, so I just have a a good um, view of the, the, the internet page um, with all the information is I just click file save and then I X out of this index right there and then I go to see now it shows you all your information right there because it's like a like a, I don't know see through or whatever site manage sites click on whatever your site name is servers click the plus sign and here's how you're gonna upload all that information so server name is right this will scroll down. Looks like it's a little slow right now. Okay, um, server name is right here. So it's not letting me scroll down. There we go. Okay, so server name just input whatever that says. Server two six dot zero 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 webhost dot com. Um, you are gonna say connect using FTP. FTP address is um, the IP address right there and just do that and then username you 
and then password is whatever you put your your password is when you signed up for the website and then root directory is this public underscore HTML and that's the same for everyone it's gonna be public underscore HTML for your root directory and that's it um, then you wanna hit this test button and make sure it works and it says it works connected to your web server successfully click OK click save click save cache will be created because the name of the place click OK and click done um, now that we have <clears throat> our website created and all the um, um, site details are entered correctly you're gonna highlight the name of your site right there that local file right there and you're gonna click this um, up arrow button and click that and then you're just gonna wait for it to do its thing alright it's done um, so now we can go to our website kevinscomics.comuv.com dun 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 and wait for it to load it's loading slow because my currently downloading a few things but yeah as you can see it works now if you purchase a domain name through a, a website like godaddy.com um, it does take like 24 hours for GoDaddy to authenticate it or whatever, um, so it won't you won't see it automatically like this. It'll take um, a while because um, when you go into your GoDaddy um, control panel, you're gonna here I'll show you um, all this all this information. Um, when you're in your GoDaddy control panel, you'll see like um, the button for hosting or whatever and you're gonna click um, outside hosting unless you're hosting it through GoDaddy then you're not gonna use this 00webhost.com um, but if you're hosting it through 000webhost.com you have to input these name server details right here and you'll see on your um, GoDaddy control panel when you click hosting host through someone else you're gonna input these two name servers and then it takes GoDaddy like a day like 24 hours or something to authenticate these name servers and then um, you'll be able to see it and you can upload it um, um, automatically but if you want to purchase domain name um, because you don't want like this dot comuv on the back end of your um, website um, it's only um, if you find one it's about twelve dollars i think a year for a domain name um, with a dot com like a dot org might be less and dot info might be less but for dot com it's usually about twelve dollars a year um, so yeah, um, that's all you need to know. This is free hosting. Um, it is free up until 1500 megabytes. Once your website gets bigger than that, you're gonna have to purchase um, hosting. And I think it's a, on zero. If you host it through 000webhost.com, you get. We can go to the home page here, but I think it's five dollars. Whoops. yeah here we go so you get unlimited disk space so that's pretty neat um, and it's 484 a month for premium hosting um, and basically the only difference between free hosting and premium hosting if you're um, just like a amateur website builder it is just gonna be the disk space that you have because once you get up to that 1500 megabytes they won't let you go any higher but that's quite a bit of space um, it's about one and a half gig um, but once you start putting in videos and pictures and um, um, like a really um, enriched site it will get bigger than that but if you're just doing a website like that it's never gonna get bigger than 1500 megabytes but yeah that's how you do it um, if you have any questions like always just um, put a comment under this video or send me a direct message and I'll be sure to respond to that comment or direct message um, if you like my video be sure to subscribe. Um, be sure to like the video. I, I don't know if that's a thing yet on YouTube or not, but um, be sure to give it a thumbs up, I think it is, and um, subscribe to my videos and favorite this video if you like it. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. This was Mr. Adamac.